The crowd is singing for Seth freaking Rollins. The best dressed man in WWE and a pretty darn good conductor, too. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 217 pounds, the NXT Champion, Seth Freakin' Rollins! He's held the Intercontinental, the US, the WWE, and the Universal titles each on multiple occasions. Truly one of the greats of the era. Anybody in WWE runs their mouth quite as much as Seth freaking Rollins. Yeah, but nobody delivers on their promises like he does either. The Celtic Warrior always ready for a fight. And his opponent, representing the Brawling Brutes from Dublin, Ireland, weighing in at 267 pounds, the Celtic Warrior, Sheamus! A multi-time world champion, king of the ring, money in the bank, and royal rumble winner. Hey, there's no fight Sheamus can't come out on top of. The brawling brute from the Emerald Isle. Sheamus has been competing at the top of his game for some time now. It's that innate love of the fight that's kept Sheamus at this high a level for this long. He's not going to back down from a fight anytime soon, that's for sure. Corey, I don't even think Sheamus knows the meaning to back down. But then we've got Seth freaking Rollins, a truly superior talent who's at the top of... Oh, Rollins right, so down. It cinched it. We're going to free the arm and does just that. Canadian. Agonizing position, looking to pry the grip apart. And they do. Oh, oh jumping. Can he do it here? Oh, somehow! Channeling his energy to stay in this matchup. He's heading to the floor, but he can't take his time. Inferted DDT! Lights out. Corey, what's it going to take for Rollins to secure the victory here? I bet you have the scoop. Does he have some ingenious strategy already in mind? No, I'm sure he does, Cole. So all he has to do is execute that strategy. That demands full focus. No distractions, even when they're singing his song. Seth has to stick to the plan. Toss back into the ring. Next, stomp to the gut. This is just establishing dominance. Oh, oh this is turning into a real Donnie Brook here. This superstar is rocked, and this superstar apparently has had enough of this. Now, walking away. Discretion's the better part of valor. Uh, how about calling it a retreating? Whoa! Oh, no the the retreat. This just went from bad to worse. Corey, why did that superstar just throw them back in the ring? Your guess is as good as mine, but right now it's time to plant your feet and throw hands. And he's able to counter. Here's the cover. The shoulder up before two. And those kickouts are only going to get harder. Vicious right forearm. Ah, oh, jumping knee strike. Lights out. Kick right to the back of the leg. 
punishing their opponent. Pulverizing the arm is a great way to create an advantage. Basically forcing your opponent to fight one-handed. Lights out here. Oh, no, maybe not. Barely kicks out. He really thought that was it. Oh, this is going to hurt. Just a barrage of elbow drops into the chest. Unleashing a barrage on their opponent. Oh, what a kick. Carefully placed stop to the arm. Answering back. Up and around. Down with a tilt to world backbreaker. Taking this outside. This could be good. He's taking this to the floor now. Back suplex. Kicks to the face. Capped off with a big one. Taking the fight near our announce table. I really hope we get these desks at a discount. Oh! He knew that was coming. Running leg drop. And Sheamus on the receiving end of the beating there. Yeah, Seth with the potentially game-changing offensive maneuver there. Well, in for the little Skywalker. Quick reflex is so important in a match like this. Back into the ring. Action needs to return to the ring and fast. Heads out of the ring, but needs to be mindful of the referee's count here. Oh, right to the throat. Great move. Here we go. He can do it here. Oh, he kicked out. That was a long two count there. Able to avoid any harm there. Counter from the Celtic Warrior. Powerbomb position. Throwing down punches and counters out. Look out. The Celtic Warrior proving his toughness tonight. What a battle Rollins has waged so far, but he's not finished yet. A hip toss, hip toss to the outside. And Seth is reeling after absorbing that attack. Yeah, Rollins has been broken down over the course of this match. Oh. He's not gonna be able to pull this off, is he? Oh, is he? Yeah. Oh. Okay, he's re-entering the ring. Taking a trip outside, but he's got to be mindful of the count. Right to the kidneys from behind. A knee of the revolution style by Rollins. Uh-oh. And he scores a reversal on Rollins. High risk plans from Rollins. He's testing fate here and Dick from the top. Diving elbow drop. Are you kidding me? Oh, there's the old stump puller leg snap. Very effective. Catapulting down on the opponent. A relax. Looking for the victory. There's two. Seth Rollins wins. Here is your winner. Seth Ricky Rollins. And unfortunately, the lack of respect remains with this result. I know they made a point earlier on to show that they had no respect for their opponent, but come on, after a match like that, how could they not? Well, they still beat them. It's
Big E, you're ready to throw down here tonight. The following is a fatal four-way match. Making his way to the ring, representing the New Day from Tampa, Florida, weighing in at 285 pounds. Big E! Well, it's no secret Big E nor any other member of New Day knows any shame, but Big E should feel a little more at home here in NXT, a former NXT champion in his own right. The big, strong boy. And his opponents, first from Dudley, England, weighing in at 175 pounds, Tyler Bates. Well, Bates made a real name for himself on both sides of the Atlantic. A founding member of NXT UK and now a fixture in NXT in the U.S. Now, do yourself a favor and look up his NXT UK Championship battles against the likes of Gunther and Butch. Some of the best matches in NXT history. Bate has run the show in every form of NXT, but still has much to prove in all of WWE. Bates, the first NXT UK Triple Crown Champion. NXT UK champ, tag champ, and NXT Heritage Cup champion. Big, strong boy vibes all day. No weak link in his game. A true example of British strong style. Here comes a truly vicious superstar. And Drew Gulak isn't here to play nice. And from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, weighing in at 193 pounds, Drew Gulak! This is a man who certainly is never shy about torturing his opponents. Drew Gulak well versed in every submission hold in the book. And from what I hear, every one of them hurts. Yeah, the lights can go out with just one move from Drew Gulak. A true broad street bully. He's back! And from Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at 218 pounds. Sent a message when he said, quote, I'm not here to make friends, I'm here to make money. He's facing fierce competition nowadays. Well, listen, Punk's famous for not playing well with others. There are many men who have shaken his hand who now want to be the one who topples the best in the world. Well, they've got to be ready for this brand new version of CM Punk. Already at his peak, but primed and ready to reach new heights. Punk possesses a lethal combination of fighting styles, and he's going to need it tonight. Yeah, no doubt about it. Punk is always ready for a fight, and he proclaims he is the measuring stick until someone proves him otherwise.
Four superstars battling it out in this fatal four-way. No countouts in this match. It really allows fatal four-ways to have as much action outside the ring as inside the ring. Paying it back with their own counter. Got him set up in the corner of the ring. Solely focused on... Ooh. The legs are a base that you do not want to lose. Chopping down the tree at the base here. Keep it up. Grabbing a hold of the arm. And that was an efficient display of offense with that maneuver. And a stomp to the gut, too. Corey, it kind of seems like the best way to win a fatal four-way would be to form an alliance. Would you agree? Well, and it'd have to be a strategically temporary alliance for both parties. That means you're just waiting to see who stabs who in the back first. So my general recommendation would still be to not trust anybody but yourself. Oh, impressive counter. Got him where he wants him. Up and... Oh, gut buster! And that could end up putting CM Punk on shaky legs for a bit. Gulak showed off some of his impressive skill set with that attack. Oh no, now that he has the kendo stick, I definitely do not want to be in his path of destruction. Boom! Boom! Boom. Hits him with the counter. There's a certain amount of anger you have to have towards your opponent to pile drive them like that. Oh, that hurt right to the kidney. Golly. Boom! Tyler Bay with all the confidence of a young man and none of the intelligence. Stay on him, kid. Now watch this. Northern right suplex. Ooh. And Punk gets countered there. Big double axe handle. Setting it up. Big of a brain buster. And if you take one too many of those, we know how this match is going to turn out. Back straight into the post on the outside. Oh, look at the double team here. Uh-oh. Double flapjack. Oh, my. Even in every superstar for themselves situation, an alliance like that can be key. Bang! Cross. Bam! Down he goes. We are European uppercut. Nice side headlock applied. Oh, oh a right hand for good measure. Biggie responds. Had that one scouted. Has a leg trap. Fisherman suplex. He's struggling a bit here. Yeah, but at this point, Cole, the fatal four-way is still anyone's to win. Oh, tossed into the ring post. Uh-oh. He thinks he has. Looks like he has other plans here. Thrown out of ringside and back to the mat. Thunderous power slam. Boy, using that hammer like this was a track and field event. Oh! Tyler Bay with all the confidence of a young man and none of the intelligence. Stay on him, kid. Falcon Arrow Suplex. Landing a big hit with that hammer. Go 
goes under the ropes to get back inside. He finds a counter for Gulak. He's looking a little weary now. But this deep into a fatal four-way match, you've got to expect to be a little worse for wear. Jumping neckbreaker. Ouch. Then it's bait. he'd be out of it after taking that maneuver. CM Punk thought that was enough. We thought that was enough, but somehow it didn't earn the three count. Oh, turns the hand. Here he goes for the win. Can he close it out? And it's all over. Big E gets the win. Here is your winner. Big E. What an edge of your seat end to this fatal four-way. All four competitors in this match gave everything they had. But there can only be one winner in the end, and you are looking at them. A young star with plenty of accolades. The youngest United States champion and the youngest Money in the Bank winner in WWE history. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 220 pounds, Austin. Who could forget when Austin Theory beat John Cena at WrestleMania? And in case you forget, I'll remind you every time. When you have a rise like Theory has, every match presents a major test in your career. And he's passed every one of those tests so far. Unfortunately, there are too many doubters and haters who fail to realize just how talented Austin is. get in the way of his talent. Well, it's at least a start, Cole. You can't deny his talent and how it's propelled him to the highest heights. But can he stay at those heights? Or will he crash back down to earth?
Montel Vontavious Porter, MVP. MVP, one of the sharpest minds this business has ever seen. The MVP possesses unmatched mental acuity. He knows this business like few men do. This guy has to be on guard against Theory, a competitor who is not above cutting corners to get what he wants. Ladies and gentlemen, there have been plenty of superstars who would be called cocky during my time in this business, but Theory has made it a point to be the very definition of cocky during his time in WWE. Look at Theory defining a whole generation. Absolute. And he goes for the pin. And he kicks out at two. Couldn't quite slam the door yet. Oh, man. Right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Theory fights back. And a Oof. stop to the gut, too. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. You're so weak. Oh, stop right to the hand. The proverbial mud hole has been stomped, and now it's time to walk it dry. being torn apart now. Placed in the corner. He takes control. Look at this. Boom. Nice. Escapes in a nick of time. Ooh, dropped right on their face. Mistake made by MVP. And I have to wonder, Corey, what would Austin Theory's game plan be for this matchup? We know he's got a lot of raw talent, but that can't always get the job done. Fair point, Corey, which is why Theory needs to rely on cover. Just gets the shoulder up. The end was in sight. Oh, that was just malicious. Just disrespectful. But this could also light a fire under you. Make your fight even harder. Knee strike connects. MVP sidesteps that one. A oh, knee right to the face. That knee is a lethal weapon. Nice hip toss. Not the prettiest thing you'll ever see, but it sure looks effective from here. And no room for any of Theory's patented showboating after that. MVP putting that in-ring know-how to good use, just outclassing his opponent in every way right now. And now there's an opening. Reversal from MVP. Damn. He manages to escape it. Oh, a playmaker by MVP. Attacks like that are exactly how MVP earned his place in this business. Complete shot. Perfectly executed. MVP's put lots of men out with that. No, he beats the count. What? How on earth did Theory manage to kick out of that? I cannot believe what we are seeing out of him tonight. Believe it, Saxton. And frustration starting him out. MVP thinking he should be sitting in VIP by now, but this match keeps going. And MVP continues to put the pressure on. You're not going to find any remorse. Just hurt from MVP. He's going for the pin. This could be it. Kicks out. A long two and a half in the waning moments of this match. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. A big kick to the gut. The clubbing forearm. It's a rather crude facial reconstruction. That's not very nice. Face gouge. Oh, God. 
isolating their opponents arm and oh delivering nasty stops oh i heard a snap Insulting. And the pressure on MVP continues to mount. And look at this now. Yes, applying the submission hold. Nice escape. Ouch. Rolling elbow right on the mark. Oh. And he'll leave the ring for this next stretch. For a good Watch. measure. something here. And this is go Interesting decision here, Corey. I don't know. I kind of like it. He clearly wants to inflict some more punishment. And he tosses him back in now. Yeah. Face scrub. Nasty. He climbs into the ring. He deserves for all that bloating. That could ground theory for good. Guys, what a massive upset. One of the biggest we've ever seen. I am shocked that he was able to earn a Oh, oh my whoa. God. Dude. Frustration is boiled over. The gods have spoken, and only she knows what they have to say. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring, representing the Viking Raiders, Valhalla. Valhalla competed all over the world before coming to WWE, though she has certainly transformed since she returned. All that training, plus her Viking experiences, have made her very dangerous. Bahala has simply become unhinged. There's no telling what she's going to do anymore. traveled, powerful, and emboldened by the gods. A dangerous combination of skills in a competitor. But this isn't a competition for Valhalla. It's more like a hunt. The Scottish powerhouse of the women's division. From Ayrshire, Scotland, one half of the women's tag team champions, 
Piper Niven. Niven has made it very clear as of late. Whatever she wants, she will take. You're not kidding, Saxton. She basically declared herself a tag team champion. And the funny part was, nobody objected. Piper Niven looking to make a name for herself tonight. Guys, since embracing this more survivalist side of her personality, Rahula has really tapped into something primal in the ring. What's that? It's that hunter mentality, Cole. She's no longer concerned with competing and being the best. This is all about the thrill of the hunt, the thrill of taking down big game, and there's no better place to do that than here in WWE. Actually, I think it would be in the woods, Corey, but I think I get what you're saying. Yeah, but she's facing one of the most powerful opponents that WWE has to offer, Piper Niven. Scary power and a mean streak a mile wide. It's really no wonder Piper has become one of the most feared superstars in WWE's women's division. She's a tremendous hurdle for any superstar to overcome. Placing them right where they want them, into the corner. Got to respect the strategy to work over the arm. That's what they call me, the hot shot. Whoa. <laughs> ah, throwing the right suplex. For Valhalla to win this, I think it all comes down to power. She has to leverage her full strength and do as much damage as possible. Yeah, the, and she goes for the pin. Fending off a two count there. She just shocked everyone in the ring. Reversal, can they go on the attack? Ooh, stiff punch. Ducking out of trouble. Big time clothesline. Good grief. <laughs> Pulled back into the hip toss. A total roll reversal. Hurling them around like a giant sack of potatoes. She's enduring some damage. That's the kind of physicality we can expect from Piper. Canadian Destroyer! I am not exaggerating when I say careers have been ended by less. She was clearly waiting for that. Being carried around with ease. Ooh, pinpointing the trachea. Here's the goal. And she's not done yet. Impressive to not even allow a two count at this juncture. Jumping elbow drop. Big form. Oh, he decides. Jeez. I honestly can't believe we just saw a human being tossed like that. Valhalla able to reverse. Ooh, sharp elbow. She just rocked Piper there, managing to shake the powerhouse. Yeah, Valhalla pretty effectively backing up that intimidation factor of hers. Niven avoids the attack. Bullseye! <laughs> oh, stiff headbutt. Momentum is all with Niven now. Valhalla's having trouble assessing the situation. Dodged right on cue. Ooh, accurate roundhouse. Turnbuckle's the only thing keeping her upright. Oh, shoulder to the gut. Is this even legal? I don't think so. Oh, look at this ruthlessness in the bottom turnbuckle. And now she's looking to go top rope. Lift off. Oh, what a splash! Man, oh man. Well, this, this is, is a 
impressive. Shoot. An inverted Texas Cloverleaf submission. This is painful. I'm not sure there's anything she can do here. She is determined to escape. Good decision to roll out here. Was slightly thrown off guard for just a moment. I was sure this one was over. She anticipated that one. Series of elbows looking to create separation. She does so. Compromised position here. Put down face first. Her energy is fading rapidly now. She's been on the bad end of a beating here, and it's starting to show. her will, using her power. Oh, this is impressive. Super. An inverted Texas Cloverleaf submission. This is painful. What's going to happen here? I think she's getting an opportunity. She is determined to escape. I am stunned by what we've seen from these women so far. These competitors are redefining, digging deep and giving your all. She fights Piper back. Taking it to the floor, what's she gonna do? She delivers her back into the ring. Caught with a lariat. Down to Odin. She got the shoulders down. She gets the shoulder up. That is just pure instinct at this point. Thug across the back of the neck. Not a single person in this place is sitting down. We might just be watching one of the greatest matches we've seen. Up high. A huge impact. Cover. Two. Listen to the WWE fans here. And that's what you want to see. Good sportsmanship after a competitive, what the, seriously? Seriously. What a shame. Time to party with the Prophets.
The following is a tag team match set for one fall. On the way to the ring, at a combined weight of 492 pounds, Montez Ford and Angelo Dawkins, the Street Profits! You know, it's been a bit surprising to see Ford and Dawkins sporting more of an attitude. If you ask me, they finally wised up. It's well past time they stopped messing around and got serious about their careers. Oh, I'm not surprised you're a fan of this change, Corey, but there's a lot of fans out there that feel betrayed. Well, they can go cry into their crumpled party cups. Ford and Dawkins only care about getting paid and taking names, as they should. Ford and Dawkins are still great athletes with tons of personality, but now they've made hurting people their business. And quite frankly, Byron, it's a necessary evolution for Dawkins and Ford. These two are ready to make the jump to the all-time greats of the tag division. They're on their feet for Johnny Wrestling. And their opponents, first, representing DIY from Cleveland, Ohio. Weighing in at 199 pounds, Johnny Gargano. Johnny Wrestling, perhaps the most beloved competitor in NXT history. Yeah, but Johnny Gargano has also made an immediate impact in the WWE and has an even brighter future than ever. It's time for Johnny Wrestling to show the world why he earned the nickname. And I cannot wait to see it. A Hall of Famer and our former broadcast colleague, guys. A wrestling god. And from New York City, weighing in at 290 pounds, John Bradshaw Layfield, JBL. One of the longest reigning champions of the ruthless aggression era yeah his personal wealth only matched by his wealth of wrestling knowledge inside the squared circle i'm surprised at this point saxton that john hasn't paid you just to stay away come on secretly john loves me and sit down, Saxton. Hey, it's not my fault it's raining money. Oh, I got one. And I hope you guys want the smoke because someone's about to get it from the Street Profits. Montez Ford and Angelo Dawkins, these guys have a resting confidence level on 100, and it's easy to see why. It's been a long time since we've had a team with the pure talent and charisma that these guys do. They say some people were made for this industry, and clearly Ford and Dawkins are in that category but their opponents are tired of hearing about them. Tonight's about stealing a spotlight. It's about establishing a new regime around these parts. You can sense the disdain before the bell even rang. Uh-oh, elbow drop. A heel hook locked in. You can almost hear the opponents yelling in agony. Oh, stomping away.
Stretching and tearing at all the ligaments in the leg. Ah, oh, stops the legs. And he saw that coming from Montez. Snap power slam. There he goes, right into the corner. Oh, draping double axe handle. Teamwork making the dream work right here with that display. So much damage inflicted. Enough already. That's how you stop your opponent. Gotta find a way to get out of this. Exhibiting. Can he do it here? And he powers out. He's determined to keep this matchup going. Able to get there in time. He's lost some of his win now. Yeah, with that, the Street Profits proved that where there's smoke, there's also fire to get burned with. Looking for more damage here. Ah, oh, release back suplex. It wasn't the height or distance that caused the damage, but they certainly contributed. Establishing complete control. Battling ringside, no announce tables getting shaky. That's because Byron is quivering in fear next to me. Well, I get nervous when the fight comes out here, guys. Tossed into the corner. Torturous focus on the leg in the corner. An effective attack to the leg can hurt everything from balance to mobility. It can drastically limit you inside the ring. Psychological warfare from Angelo Dawkins here. He's certainly lining him up, but he's wasting too much time. from Johnny Gargano. Super kick! Boom! Wow. It's gonna cost them. Well, for...
This is one intimidating superstar. I agree with you, Saxton. I pity those who pick a fight with Braun Breaker. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Woodstock, Georgia. Weighing in at 230 pounds. Braun Absolute power, absolute aggression. This kid's the real deal. I agree, Cole. He's already more than living up to his family pedigree. drive on paper all the attributes of a top talent yeah Braun Breaker just seems destined for very big things destruction is now imminent and his opponent from Sheryls Ford North Carolina Weighing in at 385 pounds, Braun Strowman. Fire in the eyes of Braun Strowman tonight. He's ready to attack. Unchecked rage and aggression. Facing an opponent seemingly invulnerable to intimidation in Braun Breaker. Yeah, this man has got to keep from being intimidated by Breaker. In many ways, Braun Breaker was born for this. Wrestling is in his blood. He grew up watching his father and uncle decimate top talent. Now he's here to do the same. But Breaker isn't just an iteration on his family's past success. He's an evolution, going for the future of this industry. He's a next generation powerhouse who attacks the competition with impressive technical ability and nonstop intensity. That intensity of Braun Breaker certainly has put him on another level. At times, he can appear almost unmatched inside the ring. And he's got the deal with the monster of all monsters, Braun Strowman. Just an absolutely unstoppable force in the ring. You can compare Strowman to a lot of objects, but you can't compare him to a mere human being. His stature and build are those of epic. His shoulders are down. Oh, he turns it around and has the pin. He's able to kick out before two. Could be in search of a second win now. Oh, what a chunk slam. Toss them across the ring. And now Strowman taking over. Braun's on the wrong side of every exchange. Corey Braun's obviously known for his powerhouse style and his feats of strength. How do you think that will factor into this one? I think it'll factor in big time, Corey, without a doubt. The power game has always worked out tremendously for Strowman, and that should absolutely be the case here. If the monster's unleashed, then have mercy on the soul of anyone who ends up in his path. Caught with a punch. Oh, look at the power. It's over. You have to be in peak physical condition to pull off a move with that much weight behind it. Good grief, man. This is vicious. I think Rage took over in that moment. Nothing but blind Rage. Dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. And Strowman was the one getting wrecked there. Yeah, Breaker with a very efficient form of offense. Lights out. DDT connects. Taking it outside the ring now. Oh, you can tell he's feeling it now. This fight is pumping him up. 
The WWE Universe is pouring more fuel on his fire right now. Saw that one coming. The monster among men with a roar to the audience. Strong impact. in store now all the way up Strowman wreaking some serious destruction there the only way Strowman knows how to do it and here's the monster uh -oh. nice counter from Breaker he might be able to start mounting something here Ron trying to bring the fight back in this one punch lands Outside of the ring now. What's the plan here? Ron Breaker setting him up for the military. <laughs> Boom! Military press power slam. Serious jeopardy for Strowman. Makes the cover. Ah, oh, he was almost finished. This match is getting pushed beyond the normal limits. Ooh. And a burst of offense from a battered Breaker. Breaker has picked his spots all night, and he, he could pin his opponent right here. It's over. Kicks out. He still has life. I cannot believe what I'm seeing right now. No one can. Uh-oh, this is not going to end well. Crash landing. Powerbomb. You can see the battle scars on their bodies, and they are telling an epic tale. These men are showing everyone the desire, the strength, and the will it take. Strowman here. Man, elevated triangle choke. Cole Breaker likes to talk about having that dog in him, but Braun looks like he... 
The elevated triangle, but short shot. To the ribs. Break the hold. Braun Breaker, his strength on display. This is absolutely incredible. Look at the military press and turns it into a power slam. Braun might have brought this to a close. Strowman taken down in this one. This has to be a shock for Strowman. I know I'm at a loss for words myself. He's back at NXT. A man who has completely transformed himself mentally and physically. Really uh, went through a resurgence and a rebirth when he returned to NXT. Had a new attitude. McIntyre now laser focused. Continues to dominate everything in his path. The following contest is a triple threat match. Making his way to the ring from Ayr, Scotland. Weighing in at 254 pounds. The Scottish Warrior, Drew. Sword or no sword, Drew McIntyre is a dangerous, dangerous man. McIntyre is as physical as it gets. He is not afraid to get down in the dirt or throw hands. Defiant, bold, Drew McIntyre bows to no man. He is as in your face as they come. A mass of man ready to go to war. First, representing the LWO from Mexico City, Mexico, weighing in at 200 pounds, Santos Escobar. It is time to pay respect to the boss of the street. Santos Escobar does not play games. Escobar is calm, steady, calculated, and does whatever he has to do to succeed. Santos Escobar continues to build his empire and he'll do anything to keep it intact. Escobar is determined to provide and protect his family. Beware, he's full of surprises.
The WWE Universe just exploded. That's because LA Knight is here. Yeah. yeah. From Los Angeles, California, weighing in at 241 pounds, LA Knight. LA Knight will hand out a beat down to anybody, any night of the week. It doesn't matter to him. typical WWE superstar, but he has become one of the top names around in short order. He is truly maximizing his time right now. In-ring IQ will be tested in this triple threat match. Ready for battle as it'll be Drew McIntyre, Santos Escobar, and LA Knight. Every superstar for themselves in this matchup. Still, it's possible to see some temporary alliances, no matter how strange. It's about getting the odds in your favor. Chances are better against one opponent instead of two. Double suplex. Temporary alliance, but you really shouldn't count on anyone but yourself in this kind of situation. Triple threats are known for being unpredictable. How do you account for that in the moment? You cannot let opportunities pass you by. This is not the time to shrink from the spotlight. This is the time to take it. Stops the attack with a hit to the gun. Oh, sit out slam. Sent into the corner. Base Buster was unique. Big forearm. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, man. Right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Gets him with the counter. A little style from the Emperor of Lucha Libre. Oh, strikes with the back elbow. Got the legs. Game and Gary. Wow. Connecting with a sharp elbow. Held in a perilous position. Turning the throat there. So much for being his game. Knight perhaps leading too much on his charisma and not enough on what he's doing in the ring. McIntyre causing damage and causing harm. That was one of those power bombs that would shorten someone's career. McIntyre counters with power. Oh, and back of the elbow. That kick will stop you in your tracks. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. Shoulder tackle. Santos falling victim to an onrush now. Next level brutality coming from McIntyre. Escobar avoids that one. He's been placed in the corner now. Ooh, avoided the attack with a nasty chop block. He moved, but can he capitalize? And McIntyre's need to fight being met in kind there. Yeah, Santos is good. Makes the cover. Just after two. Very close. Fatigue clearly setting in. What a close line! Ouch! And elbow will break that up. Uh oh. What are they gonna do here? How about a little? Oh, the, oh this should have been over. But he breaks the hold. Ooh, Rob's gonna kiss from Drew McIntyre. Ooh, got clipped by the thrown kendo stick. Saw it coming and got out there. In time. Devastating elbow. Kick to the midsection. Setting them up. There's a Canadian. 
Canadian Destroyer. Wow. McIntyre gets met with a response. Stomping down. Good night. Feeling like it's over for Santos. Makes the cover. And that will end it. Here is your winner. The Scottish Warrior, Drew McIntyre. Standing tall above the two other hungry competitors who were in this match. Triple threat matches tend to live up to the hype, and this one was... Gentlemen, damage control has arrived. You are looking at the past, present, and future of the women's division. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making our way to the ring, representing damage control from San Jose, California, Bailey. Attitude or not, you cannot deny the collective talent of Bailey, Dakota Kai. And Io Sky. Now, Io Sky may be the best high flyer in women's division history. Kai, one of the most lethal strikers around, all led by the genius level ring IQ of the role model. Yeah, and here's the thing they've also run roughshod over the entire women's division. Heck, they've even brought the fight to legends like Trish Stratus and Lita. That's because nobody stands in the way of damage control. Hey, we know Charlotte will do anything and everything to win. She's got to have that same mentality here tonight. Here comes the queen, Charlotte Flair. A woman who has truly done it all in WWE. And from the Queen City, Charlotte Flair! The personification of majestic elegance, a fearless defender of her crown. She says everyone will bow down to her. There's no question Charlotte is WWE royalty, but Charlotte often lacks compassion for those around her. Well, that comes with the territory when you've been superior most of your life. Flair says she's proud to be a queen and she should be celebrated. Well, Flair will also embarrass and humiliate those who choose not to fall in line. A match against Bailey is opportunity. Ringing the doorbell. Ding dong. Hello. Hopefully, this young lady doesn't get the door slammed in her face.
time we're underway with Bailey in action. As much as Bailey has become known for running her mouth, you have to admit she's extremely dangerous in the ring. So focused on controlling the competition, controlling every possible situation. I imagine that will play a huge role in this matchup. And then we have Charlotte Flair, an undeniably impressive competitor who believes herself utterly superior to every opponent she's ever faced. She's a cold, calculating, and ruthless superstar who thinks winning is everything. Uh, news flash, winning is everything. And nobody wins like Charlotte Flair. Her championship reigns are in the double digits. Her athleticism is off the charts. She's absolutely superior to everyone else in this business. That breaker! What a reversal by Bailey. Ooh, what a forearm club. And Bailey never saw that coming. Look ringside now, guys. This manager is doing something very suspicious. Uh, she's trying, trying to create space. for a simple kick out. Hey! Side headlock applied. Oh, and a right hand for good measure. Oh, what a chop! That move was a thank you shot to the so-called benevolent queen. Oh, and a reversal. She heads out of the ring, but she needs to pay attention to the ref's count. Oh, that hurt right to the kidney. Golly. Watch out. They're coming towards the announce desk. What the hell are you doing, Byron? And Bailey connected nicely there. Bailey is really displaying aggression here. Bailey's bringing the fight straight to the queen. Will Flair have an answer? That's going to be a moment you want to forget it very soon. They need to be aware of a count out right now. Look at Bailey, Fez press! And Bailey hammering away. You can't get caught in a hailstorm. Incredible. Ooh, right down the knee. Oh, looking to triple the leg. Really just laying it in. Boot to the gut will stop anyone in their track. Kick to the gut. Uh-oh. Look out. No turning back from the rose plant. Is Bailey closing this out? Two. She kicks out. This just has to be Charlotte's DNA. It's the genetics that caused her to kick out after that maneuver. And Bailey can barely believe it. Bailey had her dead to right. Thought she had the three, but it was a factor of milliseconds. Bailey is still in this thing, and Charlotte can't believe it. Well, the Queen's under no illusions. She knew this was going to be a brawl. Two. To the throw. Great move. From the turn. Swan turn bomb. Is it enough? The cover. There's two. Bailey scores the victory. 
Here is your winner, Bailey. Both women gave it their all here tonight, but it looks like Bailey wanted it just slightly more than Charlotte. Whether you agree with Bailey's methods or not, what a win. That's right, Cole. A win is a win, and Bailey did just that here tonight. When the lights go out, you must run. Bray Wyatt has arrived. Such an eerie and mysterious feeling in here. And the mind games of Wyatt have only just begun. What has Wyatt concocted for this match? What is he thinking? The king of strong style. 
ready to deliver big hits and get the big win. That's the only way he knows how. And his opponent from Kyoto, Japan, weighing in at 220 pounds, Shensuke Nakamura! A Royal Rumble winner, a man who's held multiple championships. A top elite level competitor all over the globe. And after all these years, a veteran who hasn't lost any of his edge. Shinsuke is battle tested and looks ready for more. This superstar says he has a plan for everything, but he's facing a nearly supernatural opponent in Bray Wyatt. We'll see if he can plan for that. Shinsuke Nakamura ready for action area. That might be it. And Wyatt with a quick kick out. He is still very much in this. Jeez. Look out. Choke bomb. Shinsuke Nakamura with a nice reversal. He's burying elbows in the midsection. Oh, right to the midsection. Measured stomp right to the gut. Oh, and then the chest as well. Shinsuke Nakamura brings to the ring with him a wide arsenal of strikes, but one of them stands above the rest, the Kinshasa. Does Nakamura's legendary knee strike factor into tonight's match? Absolutely. It's the crown jewel of his arsenal. But that said, Shinsuke has a variety of additional punches, kicks, and strikes he can call upon to take control of this match. It's all about picking the right weapon for the situation, and he may not even need the Kinshasa tonight. Chops and overbearing assault on Bray now. Nakamura is doing what he does best, perusing his arsenal of brutal attacks and picking the one he thinks will inflict the most damage. Here's a snapmare, followed by a knee drop. That'll fracture an orbital. Makes him pay with a counter. Averting danger with an elbow to the stomach. He got whipped into that corner. Oh, able to counter. Oh, look out! High speed crossbody from Wyatt. And he's taking this to the outside now. This heel hook. This is how you punish your opponent, and he's enjoying every minute. And he goes for the pin! He narrowly avoids the count. He got close there. It could be do or die time. 
He steers clear of contact. Thunderous clothesline. Oh, an elbow drop. Absolutely crushing offense. Attack after attack from Wyatt. That was more splatter than splash. Piercing the throat. Oh, God, face first. Nakamura, so elusive. And this might not have a pleasant ending. Snake eyes! Good night. And Nakamura being impeded on there. And hanging tough, but beginning to show some wear and tear. Might want to think about picking up the pace a bit. Drop right on their face. And here's a cover. No, he kicks out at two and a half. Oh, so close. Ooh, treading all over their opponent. Thunderous shot to the oh. back. Oh, oh. Hammer and sickle. Setting it up. Boom. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. Running center. Massive damage to the whole body. Oh no, he can be caught here. Bad spot for him. Tap out. Do it now. Live to fight another day. Body breaks free, but well, the damage proved to be irreparable. Clearly frozen the opposition with fear. Oh my goodness, what a double-handed shot. Quick oh. strike to the lower body. Uh, that did not look too good for Wyatt's face, mainly. Shinsuke Nakamura, oh, and crashing down, landslide, two, no, he gets the shoulder up. Somehow, some way, he is still in this. Set up in the corner of the ring, oh, uncorked a big punch. maneuver from Wyatt. He has his opponent and the WWE Universe in the palm of his hand now. These men have been all gas and no brakes tonight, and they have to be feeling the effects. Well, they have to be right. And it's near. Kinshasa! It's all Shinsuke now. Two. Near fall. And chills have to be running down the spine of Wyatt's up. Here it comes. Himself in trouble. There's two. And it's Shinsuke Nakamura able to pick up the victory. Here is your winner, Shinsuke Nakamura. This loss may have fractured Bray Wyatt's psyche further. This was not what Bray Wyatt had in mind tonight. Yeah, but I don't think this is going to sit well with him. He'll come knocking again.